All right, this is Calc A, B, and B, C, 2011 Form B, number 5. And it's what I refer to as a table problem, because you're given a table of values, and you have to work with them. So the first question is to approximate um, the acceleration at t equals 5. Well, A of 5 is going to approximately be um, a difference quotient. So we have to use the velocity rho of this table. So we use V of 10 minus V of 0 over 10 minus 0. Uh, fill in some values from the table. Um, keep dividing and keep dividing, and then if you check, look at the uh, units. We got meters per second divided by seconds, so that'll give us meters per second squared, and that is part A. Um, part B asks us uh, first, what does this definite integral mean? But we know that the integral of the absolute value of velocity is the same as the integral of speed, and that gives you total distance traveled. So then we just jot that down in sentence form. So it's the total distance traveled in meters um, between t equals 0 and t equals 60 seconds. Um, the next part of this question is to approximate that definite integral using a left Riemann sum. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, there are three subintervals, as you can see. Uh, I always draw those little loopy things uh, that help a lot of people to figure out you know, what's the left endpoint, right endpoint, or midpoint, or whatever. This is a left Riemann sum. So the first interval is from uh, 0 to 10, so that has a width of 10. And then it's a left Riemann sum, so we use the left endpoint, so 10 times 2. Um, plus the next one is from 10 to 40, so that's 30. And then the left endpoint is 2.3, so 2.3. And then from 40 to 60, which is 20. And then the left end point is 2.5, and then put meters after it. You don't have to evaluate that, so that would be my answer. Um, and actually on this problem, I didn't bother to figure that out, so I'm not even sure what it does equal. All right, next question is C, not A. Um, and it's a question about, uh, must there be a time when something is true? Uh, you're going to find, as you practice, almost all of these questions are uh, mean value theorem questions. So our hope is that the mean value theorem applies and that it gives us the value that they're asking about. Um, well, b of t is a differentiable function, which means that the mean value theorem does apply. Um, and on the interval from 40 to 60, um, it's guaranteed that the following will happen. So v of t, which is really just b prime of t, has to be equal to, for some value between 40 and 60, has to be equal to the slope of the secant line. So that's b of 60 minus b of 40 over 60 minus 40. Fill in some values from the table. That's 49 minus 9 over 20, which is uh, 40 over 20, which is 2. And then that would be in meters per second because v of t has those units. Um, so the mean value theorem guarantees that um, b prime of t equals 2. Uh, for some value of t that's between uh, 40 and 60. And so I guess the answer is yes. The table does, in fact, guarantee that. All right, the next question is um, some weird related rates question. I don't know. They just give you a function. They ask you to find the value of it at 40. So, um, or the value of its rate of change. So step one, I guess, would be to take the derivative of this with respect to t. So... Um, it's going to be 2 L of T, and then by the chain rule, times L prime of T. And then equals, the derivative of 12 squared is 0. And then uh, the derivative of B squared is 2 B of T times B prime of T. And then I'll rearrange that a little bit to get uh, B of T times B prime of T over L of T. And now what I need to do is I need to figure out what to plug in here, because I, I need t to be 40, but I need to know what b of t is at 40, b prime of t at 40, and l of t at 40. So at t equals 40, um, l of t squared equals 12 squared, um, and then the value of b of t at 40 is just 9. You can read it from the table, so that's plus 9 squared. Uh, that's just a scaled up 3, 4, 5 right triangle, right? 9 squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. So L of T, or L of 40, I should say, is 15. And now I'm going to plug in all these values. 
So uh, b of t is 9 at 40. And b prime of t is v of t is 2.5 at 40. And then we'll divide by the 15 we calculated. And then go with meters per second. Um, so it's measured in meters, so the unit should just be meters per second, which makes sense. Um, if you're obsessed with simplifying things, we can do that without too much trouble. So divide uh, the 9 and the 15 have a common 3, so divide that out. And then 2.5 and 5 um, have a common 2.5, so divide that out. And we get 3 halves. But that's really only if you really want to do that, um, which I wouldn't have. So anyway, that's the entire problem, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.